welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at practice questions involving mole calculations. For these questions we will be using both of the mole calculations together. So that is mass equals moles times gram formula mass and moles equals concentration times volume. Let's have a look at two examples. So in this calculation we are to calculate the mass of sodium chloride required to make 500 ml of a 2 molar solution. This is the sort of thing you would have to carry out in the lab if you knew what solution you wanted to make, but you need to know how much of your solute to weigh out. We're first of all going to have a look at the mass. We are trying to calculate the mass, so I'm going to circle that part of the equation. We don't yet know the moles, but from the formula given in the question we would be able to calculate the gram formula mass. We have a volume of 500 millilitres given in the question and a concentration of 2 moles per litre. This means that we would be able to calculate the moles using these bits of information and transfer them over to the other equation to calculate the mass. So let's first calculate the moles. Volumes need to be in litres before we start, so we're going to take the 500 millilitres and divide by 1000 to get 0 0.5 litres. We're then going to do moles equals concentration times volume, which is going to be 2 times 0 0.5. So we're using one mole of solute. The gram formula mass for sodium chloride is 23 plus 35.5, which equals 58.5. So for the mass, we're going to do moles times gram formula mass. The moles we have just calculated as 1, and the gram formula mass is 58.5. So to make this solution, you would have to weigh out 58.5 grams of sodium chloride. This question looks at this from a slightly different point of view. So we're to calculate the concentration of a 250 ml solution that has been made using 20 grams of sodium hydroxide. So looking at the mass equation, we have been given mass in the question as 20 grams. From the formula given, we could calculate the gram formula mass. This means we could calculate moles and transfer it to the second equation. Here we are trying to calculate the concentration and we've been given the volume in the question as 250 mils. So first of all we need to calculate moles using the two pieces of information we know. Gram formula mass of sodium hydroxide is 23 plus 16 plus 1 which is 40. So to calculate the moles we have mass divided by gram formula mass. So the mass in the question is 20, we've calculated the gram formula mass is 40, so the number of moles being used is 0 0.5. We can now look at the concentration. Concentration is equal to moles divided by volume. The volume being used is 250 mils, so we need to divide that by 1000 to get litres before we start, which is 0 0.25. So we take the moles, which has just been calculated as 0 0.5, divided by the volume 0 0.25 to give a concentration of 2 moles per litre. Pause the video now and try these examples.
pause the video now and try these calculations. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!